Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to be doing some experiments with some boiling hot water, some firecrackers, and some very cold weather. So quickly before I make the video, I'd like to apologize for the lack of recent videos. But the reason for this is because YouTube, if you haven't already heard, has changed their rules and regulations, which makes it harder for people like me to do any videos, including stuff like firecrackers, guns, how to make airsoft guns, anything with their keywords that are dangerous. Um, there's lots of other categories that aren't just explosions. Water's boiled, let me just turn that off. Um, but it affects me because if I upload a video that they tag as dangerous, it could either be taken down, the ads are moved off of it, and my channel gets like an uh, infringement, which if you get three infringements, they could potentially shut down your channel. So I've been very careful about what videos I've been planning to make. So hopefully this one doesn't get tagged. So if you're watching it, please be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, be sure to comment down below. Also, please subscribe to my secondary channel. Uh, it's my girlfriend nice channel. It's called JD Mods. Uh, we modify cars on that channel, so if you're into the stuff I do on this channel, I'm sure you'll like that channel as well. There's a lot of building stuff, testing stuff. If you're into cars, Japanese cars specifically, we have lots of uh, fast cars. We do lots of cool projects. So go give that a subscription. I'll put the link in the description below. Basically, I also like that channel because it's relatively not dangerous stuff that we do on that channel. So YouTube doesn't take down any of our videos. I personally have already had maybe 10 videos removed and ads removed off of 20 videos. So it's harder to make higher quality videos when you can't earn any revenue off of it. So anyway, please go subscribe to the other channel, JD Mods. We also have an Instagram channel, kind of like Inventor719, and please enjoy this video. Alright, so where I live currently, I brought up the weather app to show you. It is negative 24 degrees Celsius, feel, feeling like negative 31 degrees Celsius. If you want to know that in Fahrenheit, please just put it into Google. <laughs> I can do it right now for you. How about that? Let me Google that for you. Negative, what did I say? Negative 24 Celsius. Celsius to <laughs> fair. Oh dear, I can't type on camera. Fahrenheit. No, that's they'll, completely wrong. They'll understand what I'm saying. Negative 11.2 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's how cold it is outside without the wind chill. So what we're going to be doing is pouring some hot water outside into this cup and using my matches and firecrackers to blow up the water in the cup, sending the hot water into the sky. And if you've never seen hot water in the freezing cold before, it evaporates instantaneously and makes a very cool cloud of explosion -ness. All right, let's just do it. All right, so I was going to do the explosion in this little ceramic bowl, but I didn't want the firecracker to shadow the bowl, so we're going to do it in this metal tin. Hopefully it works just as good. Uh, we'll do one up close and one far away. So here we go, I'm gonna pour the hot water from the kettle into the cup. So that is halfway full. Let's do almost 100% full mug of boiling hot water. Move the bowl out of the way. Move it away from the camera a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop one of these regular rolled firecrackers into it and we'll see if we can get a very cool explosion here we go just so you don't miss the cool sight there's what it did it made it its own very little cloud so I'm gonna back up the camera this time and do it again so you can see it a little better. So there's the workstation over there. This is round two, here we go. Make sure the camera stays on it. This be the yeah. So 
so cool. So cool. All right, we'll do one more. Let's give you a point of view reference from underneath. So this is pointing up at the sky from underneath. There's the mug right there. I'm gonna take it off of the tripod and put it right beside the mug. Kind of stare at the sky. Hopefully it doesn't get covered in water. If science is correct, we should be okay here. Okay, here we go. So a bit of snow on the lens, but hopefully you still saw it okay. There's the cloud we made going into the sun. And there's our bottle on the ground. No water made it on the ground, which is pretty darn cool. So there we are. I'm gonna go warm up my hands. As I said before, please feel free to subscribe to the other channel, JD Mods. Here's my girlfriend's turquoise turbo charge RSX, which we will be making a video about today on the other channel. So go subscribe if you wanna see some more cool stuff. I also hope you enjoyed today's experiment. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.